determined that you need to go ahead and book a telepresence meeting. So keep in mind three things. Anyone can book this room. You need to book it into your personal calendar. And you also need to know the other person or party that you must be booking this telepresence with. So you're gonna go right into your Outlook calendar and click on new meeting. From there, you're gonna go right into the scheduling assistant. This is really a simple process by adding the room. Use tilde anytime you're booking a telepresence. Start your telepresence with TP. Then you're gonna use the country code. I'm gonna book in the United States of America, so we're gonna use US. I'm in Cincinnati, so I'm typing that in. And then I know that my rooms are 337 and 339. So I chose two rooms and just clicked OK. And you can see this right here in the appointment side. We're just going to call this a test. And we're just going to change the time. I'm going to do 1 o'clock to 1.30. Now, I want to make sure that I add Wanda Jean Jones, who's going to be part of my meeting. And so I can go back to the scheduling assistant and add attendees this time. And I'm going to look for Wanda Jean. And there she is. Click OK. You can check your appointment. And you can simply see that I've got Wanda Jean Jones added to my meeting. I have rooms, telepresence room 337 and telepresence room 339, and it also shows the location. And all I have to do from here is hit send. So I've just booked my telepresence meeting with Wanda Jean Jones in rooms 337 and 339. As you can see from my Outlook, inbox. The room was accepted in 337, it was accepted in room 339, and then I received my scheduling service announcement, and you want to click on that. That's going to give you instructions for your meeting. This is something you're going to want to forward to Wanda Jean Jones. Just so she has this information, maybe you'll forget it when you come to the meeting, but just in case you want all parties to have this information so they can simply join the meeting if there's any errors. And you can also share this with the telepresence group if you have any problems in the room. Then you also see the confirmation from Wanda G. So I just booked my telepresence room and it's time for my meeting. So I come into my telepresence room and I'm gonna see that I have a camera, I have a screen, and then I also have a monitor below. I'm gonna have the touchpad so I can join my meeting very simply. So let's talk about the touch panel for a few minutes. It resembles an iPad and makes it very easy to use. So you can go to a meeting just by hitting the meeting button and see what other meetings are scheduled for the day. You can look any day of the week and see if it's actually in the room, if it's scheduled, just in case you didn't get the confirmation in your email. It also will add contacts if you need to. If you needed to add a different telepresence right from the room, you could do that here. You can share and you can add people from here and then you can share as well just by clicking those buttons. If you return back, you can dial someone else. You can add a conference call. This is a good place to add the GE conference line. And all you have to do in our telepresence room is dial 91 and then your 10 digit number. And you can add that call right into your telepresence meeting. So, so you don't need to do that, we're gonna hit join and join our meeting. And it makes that cute little noise and kind of lets you know it's working. We are now waiting for Wanda Jean to join the meeting. Hi Wanda Jean. Hi Stephanie, I'm glad that you're joining me for a telepresence. It's exciting, right? Yes, I can hear you crystal clearly. I can hear you good too, and I can even see you clearly in the background. Absolutely, and you see that we have our place in the background at our GE properties, kind of tells you who you're visiting with. 
Right. Can you see mine behind me as well? Absolutely. You're at the lighthouse, banks number 339. That's right. So some of the other things that we could do on our screen, if I had content that I needed to share with you, there's the share button. And we could push the share button to start looking at each other's screens if we had laptops connected uh, into the system. And most of the tables, don't they have some built-in functionality? Yes, they absolutely do. So you have your HDMI right here. So there's an HDMI, there is, um, I'll, I'll, there are different connectors depending on the type of computer you have and it's a part of the Cisco system. So you know that when you're plugging into the Cisco system, it's actually gonna be able to feed through the device and then show through um, the Cisco monitors that we have in the room. That's right. Talk about the tables and the microphones. Well, the microphones that I have in my room are built in, so I don't have to worry about it at all. The only time I have to worry is if I want to mute. Yes, and how do you do that? You do it right from the keypad. I actually turned you off. I put you on hold. This is great. What are some of the top reasons that you get technical support calls for telepresence? What are people running into? Well, most people don't even know how to confirm the room. They can't tell if their meeting has actually taken place and is on the schedule. And then they also do not know how to hook up their computer with an HDMI. Okay. So you could, in, in the conference room that you facilitate and help people with, you just come in and pull this out and help them connect and then you walk away? Yeah. Okay. I, I help them connect, but most people don't know you can actually share via WebEx and add that to your meeting. You don't have to wait till you get to the room and hook up externally. You can do that all before you come to the meeting. Okay. So if you were to add a Skype meeting share, or a WebEx meeting share, you wouldn't really have to have the external hardware device. Sometimes people want to add in a call and don't know how to add the GE conference call. So they can do that right from the touchpad by hitting add. You're only going to be able to add one person this way. You can't dial in 10 different people. So if you wanted to add several people, the best way is to add the conference line. Right, but you can't have both audio going at the same time. You can't have the telepresence audio and the conference call audio running at the same time because you're gonna get feedback. Okay, that's good to know. So can you talk about um, the way that you can add an impromptu telepresence without going through Outlook and scheduling? Yes. So all you have to do is find a telepresence room that's available. You can go right into the room, just like we did, go to the touchpad and just hit dial. When you go to do that and you hit dial, you're going to dial the star, the one, my star bridge is my SSO, and then you're gonna wait for it to prompt you for the passcode and then you're gonna enter your passcode and the pound sign, and then it's going to connect. The other person will need to do the same thing, and once they do that, you'll be looking at each other and having your meeting just like we are right now. So you're talking about the star bridge. Yes. Is that something special that employees have to get, or should they already know their star bridge? Well, it's something that you have to request, and I would definitely seek manager approval first because this is something that's going to charge us each month. I believe it's $15 a month, so you might only want to use one star bridge per group or for one um, shared service. There might be a star bridge that they'll use all together so we don't spend too much money for each individual employee to have a star bridge. But I have one here in the conference center. Okay, so with your conference center, if someone needed the star bridge for impromptu, they can certainly just contact you and, and get your help for that. 
Any other helpful tips that you'd like for TP users to know? Yes, if you need to dial a call into your telepresence room and it's not located in the United States, you need to dial the 9011 plus your country code and number. Many people try to call outside the United States and just aren't sure how to do that. So they need to make sure that they follow that simple rule. As a last resort, if you're having problems in your telepresence meeting, click this button and you'll have a couple drop downs. You can hit live support for issues in the room. If you wanna just look at your system information in case you have to give information to the TP group, it's found here under system information, has IP address, the software information. And then if you're having other issues you wanna adjust, you can change your font size right here. And you can also change the touch and hold delay. Most of those things aren't gonna be things you're going to need to do in your meeting, but just in case, you can do that very simply by just clicking this this simple button When you're here. finished with your meeting, all you have to do is hit end. Thank you for joining me in the conference center to learn these simple tips for telepresence.